In this video I want to pay some attention to the question how to wire an audio amplifier when you've made it completely by yourself, homebrew. Um, the way that I make these circuits is generally spoken always on wood, well varnished wood with brass nails. Here you see an example. Well varnished wood covered with glue for rigid uh, PVC. After that um, brass nails are punched into the wood and all the components are uh, soldered on these brass nails. This works very good. Uh, a very common way uh, to make a good working circuit is with a print. And I never make prints, generally spoken, but this is one print that I've made in the past. And the reason is that I've built this amplifier for approximately 10 times. In such a case you can make a print. What, what's very important is that the wiring has certain properties. For instance, this is the power supply here with the transformer. And here I use wire that can handle the current that the amplifier needs. In this case that's approximately 2 ampere. But uh, when the amplifier gets a lot of signal, it's a class B amplifier, so the current that the amplifier takes depends on the amount of signal that's added to the input. It can take, for instance, 4 ampere or so, or 3 ampere. So the wiring here must be adapted to that high current. Uh, one reason why the wiring uh, must be made properly is also that these wires, these wires for instance, connected to the preamp, can break easily. Uh, I've made uh, many amplifiers in the past and I found finally that you need here wiring that can withstand uh, pressure and movements etc. So you need multi-core wiring. And good multi-core wiring can be found in old computers. Computer power supplies. This for instance, here you can find good quality multi-core wiring. This is also good quality multi-core wiring. But when you use massive wire, like this piece of wire, massive wire that's here, this will certainly break within a few years. It will break on the soldering connection or it will break here inside somewhere due to the bending from the wiring. So the advice is to use multi-core wire to uh, make the connections inside an audio amplifier. This is also multi-core wire. It goes to the filter uh, switch. That's here. And um, when uh, components or wiring have to be fixed, you can use silicon kit. So. When, for instance, here there is a small capacitor, it's now a little bit bent in the wrong direction, I bent it back. And to fix that capacitor you can use silicon kit. So make a small dot of silicon kit, let it dry for 24 hours or so, and the component is very, very well fixed. And here you see also that I've used another type of kit 
to fix the wiring here to make it sturdy and strong and in that case I've used this kit Polymax Polymax also a very very good quality kit with high uh, isolation properties so the key issue uh, in such an amplifier regarding the wiring is that it all uh, must withstand uh, movements etc. So for instance here, this location, this moves too much. So I have to fix this with a small dot of uh, silicon kit or so. Too much movement. This will uh, break after approximately two or three years or so. So the wiring is very, very uh, important, apart from the uh, electronic construction. So these are some tips to make your homebrew amplifier uh, solid state.